welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as speech emotion recognition using machine learning which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project so in this project the authors are done a detection of emotions from the speech earlier in our project list and in our channel we have already seen some projects which detects the emotions from a text or from a command or from the review or from a image or from a video but this project is about detecting the emotion from the speech of a human so in this paper the authors have used different algorithms like support vector machine multi-layer perception and audio feature like m fcc mel chroma tonets these were used but we are not going to use the same so as our proposed model we are going to implement using the artificial neural network ann model so our proposed model for the speech emotion recognition using machine learning is ann model and the training accuracy that we have achieved is 100 percentage and the validation accuracy that we have achieved is 99 percentage now here in the base paper the authors have used two different data sets which are r a v d e s s data set and t e s s data set now we are going to use only this one data set that is t e s s data set so now let us see the data set of it so now you can see the data set which consists of the classifications like angry disgust fear happy neutral pleasant surprise sad and these kinds of things now let me show you the each folder so here you can see each folder consists this angry is consists around 200 and discuss around 200 and fear around 200 so each classification data set that we have is around 200 the happy part we have 200 so these are the things that we'll be training so let me play you some audio and show you by keeping the microphone the speaker part say the word back so this is the sample data set of audio for angry now for the discuss let me show you say the word boat and let me show you a sample for happy say the word book this is for sad part say the word back so these are the data set that we are going to train up with now make sure that we have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with the exact version of the python and the exact version of the libraries have been installed and now you can copy the source code location now you can go to the command prompt and go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for a few minutes so now after sometime you can see this url just copy this url go to any of your browser i'm going to firefox and paste the url and click enter and now you can see the home screen of the project with the project title speech emotion detection using machine learning so we'll just click this login menu so it will be navigated to the login page and kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click this login button and once if you see this login success and click ok it will be navigated to the preview part where you need to upload the audio file and you can predict the predicted result of it so just let me click this browse button now go to the 
uh, project folder where you can see the test folder where you can see the various classification for this audio so let me show you few so first let me go to the angry part and let me select uh, one audio and then click submit and now let me play you the audio that we have selected say the word back this is the audio that we have selected and the predicted result you can see is angry so again let me check with other case so let me click the preview part now let me go to the test case and let me go to discuss part and let me select one audio and click submit now let me play the audio say the word back and the filtered result you can see that is discussed again let me go to the preview part let me go to the fear this time and let submit it and now we can play the audio say the word back and the predicted result is fear now let me go to the predicted part and let me select some other from the happy say the word back and you can see the predicted result is happy let me go to the preview part again to show you the other class and click the submit say the word back and you can see the predicted result is neutral now let me go to the preview part and select the other from the sad case say the word back you can see the predicted result is sad let me go to the preview part again and let me select a case from the surprise say the word back and you can see the predicted result is surprise so for the scenario i have shown you the each audio from each classes you can other check with the other classes also from the test data uh, now let me show you by uploading an audio from the model that we have trained up with so this is for the test part so let me show you from the model that we have trained up with so from the let me show you with other case let me go to this yaf angry folder and let me select a part that is not available in the test part and let me show you that one now say the word back and you can see the predicted result is angry so in this way you can check with the audio that has been available in the test and the train folders and here comes the other question that whether we can upload our own voice and whether it is predicted no it will not predict because we need to train the model again with the same duration and with the same content that has been given in the similar way so when you are giving your own voice here it will randomly show you something but it will not predict the exact one so it will be working only with the data set that we have trained up with so if you wanted to train the data set again you wanted to compile the model again and you save it and then only you can run it and predict the results of it now let me move to the next part that is the performance analysis part so in the performance analysis part you can see the performance analysis parameters for the speech emotion recognition of like recall f1 value and precision value so this is the precision recall and f1 values for the angry discuss fear happy neutral surprise and sad cases and confusion matrix this is the confusion matrix for the classification that we have done and final comes the chart part and kindly note that this is a static chart as i said before we are not using database in it so this chart has been predicted from the model that we have generated so this graph depicts the model accuracy accuracy and the training and validation loss with the cross entropy and epoch value that we have done with and now let me log out and this is all about the project speech emotion recognition using machine learning and thank you all for watching